item C, recognition and resolutions of accommodation. Um, the first one is in accommodation of the, the world as it could be, human rights education program on the occasion of 2012 International Human Rights Day, uh, authored by uh, Commissioner Marase and Mendoza. Is there a motion? So moved. Second? Second. Uh, reading a resolution by Commissioner Marase or Mendoza. Uh, whereas San Francisco became the birthplace of the United Nations with the signing of the UN Charter at the War Memorial Veterans Building in 1945, and annually December 10th marks International Human Rights Day to celebrate the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, the first achievement of the United Nations. And whereas the San Francisco-based Rex Foundation, founded by members of the legendary rock band The Grateful Dead, has been developing an innovative creative arts-based curriculum to advance education about the Universal <coughs> Declaration of Human Rights among youth and adults called The World As It Could Be, and has piloted this curriculum at Grateful Dead member Jerry Garcia's alma mater, Balboa High School. And whereas by delivering human rights curriculum through the creative arts, the groundbreaking curriculum is designed to engage youth to inspire learning, critical thinking, and positive social interaction, encourage youth who are often marginalized due to learning or physical differences to enjoy participation in school-wide events, engage the broader community to support and celebrate accomplishments of youth, and showcase the importance and value of creative arts to personal development and vibrant culture providing collaboration opportunities among nonprofits, public universities, and schools. And, um, Commissioner Mendoza, if you'd like to read the rest of them? I'm, I'm actually going to read the next one. So okay. Whereas the program not only engages Balboa High School students and faculty, but also offers a three-day summer institute hosted by USF, International and Multicultural oh. Studies Department, annually and free of charge. So I'm hoping teachers are listening to this uh, program tonight. <laughs> So they can sign up um, to um, learn, for example, teachers of academic subjects such as social studies, history, and language arts experience how to integrate creative arts elements into their teaching of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Therefore, be it resolved that the Board of Education of the San Francisco Unified School District commends the world as it could be program participants, supporters, and organizers on the occasion of the 2012 International Human Rights Day for their innovative use of the creative arts to engage youth in human rights education and advocacy. Let us vote first. <laughs> we have to vote. Roll call, please. Or any other comments on this? Uh, thank you. Um, I just I wanted to, to thank um, Sandy Sokot and the Rex Foundation. I actually, when you think about how um, something as complex as this can get interpreted through the arts, uh, and it's done by youth, and it's performed on a stage at a high school in the auditorium, you walk away breathless, and it's just remarkable. And I think it's an incredible interpretation of some amazing work that we've done um, in our country. And I just want to appreciate the um, translation that you've done of the work. And um, we look forward to continuing to work with you in our schools. And if you haven't had a chance to get out there to see it, please do so. Thank you. Roll call, please. Thank you. Ms. Lee? Yes. Ms. Wong? Yes. Ms. Fewer? Ms. Moffis? Ms. Fewer? Um. Thank you. Ms. Moffis, Ms. Mendoza? Yes. Dr. Marasi? Aye. Ms. Norton? Yes. Ms. Wins? Aye. And Mr. Yee? Aye. Six eyes. Thank you. So is there a presentation of the certificate, Commissioner Marasi and uh, Mendoza? Okay. I'm Sandy Sokot, the Executive Director of the Rex Foundation, and it is a great honor to be here tonight to receive this. I want to start by thanking uh, Commissioner Mendoza. It was actually uh, in the spring of 2006 when we came to her office and said, we have this 
idea, it's an original production that we wanted to raise awareness about the human rights framework and we wanted youth to be the teachers and we were showcasing the terrific work of high schoolers at Destiny Arts and Youth Speaks. And uh, it was uh, Commissioner Mendoza who called over to Balboa High School and said, would you be interested in uh, hosting this presentation? And so began what has now led to this incredible evening. And the whole idea has been, we, we've learned in our work that the Universal Declaration of Human Rights that Eleanor Roosevelt shepherded through the United Nations and had adopted by the General Assembly on December 10th, 64 years ago, is actually not known uh, by a large proportion of our population. And we also found that when youth and adults found out about it, they got very excited. And in fact, we got the name because someone said, my goodness, this document spells out the world as it could be. And it has been the creative spirit of the administrators and students at Balboa that have really brought this to life. We're now for, I just got to see on Friday, their third uh, student produced assembly about the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and it is breathtaking to see how their whole culture has taken on this path and that they're setting an example for how to help us bring forward Eleanor Roosevelt's work and make it continually relevant to the world today. And I, I'd love to have you hear from Kevin Kerr, the principal of Balboa, and um, Oxy uh, Trejos, a uh, senior there, to explain what it is meant to them. Thank you so much. Uh, good evening, Commissioner, Superintendent. Um, you know, we live in kind of a high stakes world in high schools. Uh, whether it's the California Standards Test, AP Testing, SAT. These are very important parts of just kind of growing up as a student now in our kind of complex world. But it's nice on occasion to kind of step back and remind us of what life really is all about. And this idea of really teaching kids that human rights um, is not just something that lives in a far off distant land, but it's something that they need to shepherd themselves and protect in their own community. So uh, I couldn't be more proud of the work we do in regards to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. I cordially invite you um, a little less than 350 days from now um, to attend our next assembly. It was really an incredible experience for all of us. Um, there was a moment um, when we had our choir sing um, the last selection from Les Mis, which was, that, that was enough for me. I had to step out um, and just kind of compose myself um, because it was just such a moving experience. Um, I did bring with me today Oxy, who is a senior and was our Master of Ceremonies at the assembly, so I wanted her to kind of talk a, a little bit about uh, her experience um, with the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Hi, guys. Um, <laughs> I don't know the proper way to say hi, so I'm just going to say hi to all of you guys. Um, so I was the mistress of ceremony, and um, it was a little hard because, you know, as a student in the, in the assembly myself, I never really understood what it was about. I understood that I had rights. You know, so I made it my personal mission to make sure that students in the assembly knew exactly what they were hearing and they didn't leave without questions. And what we did was we played videos and we had people from our pathways. We have pathways at our school, you know, that have like specific goals around the same um, purpose. And um, a lot of people were really engaged. We had a lot of students that you know, usually at our assemblies, of course, you know, there are students who don't understand, so, you know, but at this assembly, everyone was paying attention, people were engaging, people were moved. I think that ha teaching students this on a regular basis every year as part of their classes is something that should happen, something that shouldn't just be at Balboa or in San Francisco, but all over the world, you know, because these are our rights and people just they know that they have rights, they just don't know what they are, and because they don't know what they are, they take them for granted. And this assembly really brought up a lot of points that people needed to know, and, 
you know, our students now, I, I see, hear them talking about it all the time in the, in the hallways. So they're like, oh my God, Oxy, that was amazing. But what does this mean? You know, and they'll come to me and they'll be like, oh my God, we have these rights. And I'm like, yes, you have these rights, guys. You know, just because you're minors doesn't mean anything. So I think it was a really good thing that this, you know, this program was founded. And I thank you for that. So thank you, guys. If I could just close, I just want to say thank you to Commissioner Murasi, who took the time to learn more about the program and, and went through all the effort to recognize us. And thank you. We look forward to being part of the school district work and bringing the arts and human rights together. Okay. Oh, well.